Members of the January 6th committee are preparing for tomorrow's primetime hearing. The hearing is expected to cover the actions or lack thereof of former President Trump during the three plus hours that rioters were storming the Capitol and the president's activities were unknown. But as committee members try to get to the bottom of the past attempt to steal the election, our democracy remains under attack by the same forces. Let's start in Wisconsin. CNN affiliate WISN reports that Donald Trump called the top lawmaker in the Wisconsin State Assembly, Republican Robin Voss, and asked Voss to overturn the state's 2020 election results. When did that call happen? That call happened last week. Last week. Donald Trump is still trying to overturn the election results from almost two years ago. Listen to how Voss describes the call. He makes his case, which I respect. Um, he would like us to do something different in Wisconsin. I explained that it's not allowed under the Constitution. Trump then went on social media, of course, and attacked Voss. Let's go to Arizona now. In Arizona, late last night, the state's Republican Party censured its Republican House Speaker, Rusty Bowers, because Rusty Bowers testified factually before the January 6th committee last month and said that he told Trump he would not participate in Trump's fake electors scheme. And I said, what would you have me do? And he said, uh, just do it and let the court sort it out. You are asking me to do something that is counter to my oath when I swore to the Constitution to uphold it. I will not break my oath. The chair of the Arizona State Republican Committee, Kelly Ward, tweeted about Bauer saying, quote, he is no longer a Republican in good standing, and we call on Republicans to replace him at the ballot box, unquote. Ward, we should note, also served as a fake elector in Arizona for Donald Trump. She and her husband have both been subpoenaed in the federal probe into the fraudulent elector scheme, though the Ward's attorneys say their actions are protected by the First Amendment. And then let's hop over to Maryland, where last night CNN projected Maryland state lawmaker Dan Cox would be the winner of the Republican primary in the state's governor's race. Cox was and remains a big disseminator of Trump's election lies. He tweeted on January 6, while rioters were actively breaching the Capitol perimeter, quote, Pence is a traitor. Pence is a traitor. That's the Republican gubernatorial nominee in Maryland. Extremist ideologies abound today. Audio circulating from a former Trump White House aide who ranted about his meeting with the January 6th committee yesterday. The aide, Garrett Ziegler, went on a live stream suggesting that the January 6th investigation is an attempt to go after white Christians. They're Bolsheviks, so they probably do hate the American founders and most white people in general. This is a Bolshevistic anti-white campaign. If you can't see that, your eyes are freaking closed. And so they see me as a, uh, a, a young Christian who they can try to basically scare, right? A Bolshevist anti-white campaign going against Christians. Mask off. Now, it might be tempting to compare Donald Trump to Shoichi Yokoi, the Japanese sergeant, discover hiding in the jungles of Guam in 1972, 27 years after World War II had ended, mistakenly of the belief that World War II was still going on, that the Japanese had not lost. But Yokoi was just one man. Donald Trump has an army of similarly deluded and ill-informed zealots, and they continue to fight for that corrupt cause. Lawmakers, party chairs, former White House aides, still spreading Trump's lies. And they aren't even just saying it. Many of them are campaigning on it and winning Republican primaries on it, even as they fight to undo the country's election laws today, right now. The clear and present threat to American democracy continues.